Detroit's most prolific street artists come together in a gallery show, including Freddie Diaz, also known as Southwest Freddie. Back in 2015, he was interviewed about his work. Here's what he had to say back then. I want people to know that uh, it was very well thought, you know, and, and if it's not well understood, just know that I, it was, I'm, I'm an artist that likes to communicate with my audience before I paint anything. I recently had an opening at Red Bull House of Art. Uh, I go down as the third Hispanic to ever show with Red Bull. Without further ado, here's Freddie Diaz. Freddie, how do you feel about hearing yourself back then and where you are today? I think it's a little overwhelming just yeah. because, uh, I mean, honestly, you just got to trust the universe. Uh, at the end of the day, people got to, you know, you, you can't put a price on people supporting you. Absolutely. You know, they, they have to actually like the work, put it out there for you, and they lift you, you know, so. And as an artist, you've gone through quite a transition as well. Talk to me about that. Uh, I, I've just been starting to, like, tap more into my culture, into mm -hmm. my heritage where, you know, my family comes from and, and figuring out how to channel with that in the, within my community. Absolutely. Um, and when you look at some of your artwork, you can really see that inspiration. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of local businesses and a lot of my upbringing when I started yeah. doing mural work, uh, it was a lot of local businesses in Southwest that gave me the platform. So as I started to get older, I started to figure out a way that I can still keep them with me. Right. And, 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 and still remain like a consistency within like a brand, you know? So as you get older, you start to find an identity as an artist. And I think that this gallery uh, shows it was a good opportunity for me to create a new series that can kind of transition into that. And as we're looking at some of your pieces, how does the exposure from a gallery like this, an opportunity like this, how does that help you and your platform? Uh, I mean, I think it just gives gives me the confidence to continue to do what I love. Yeah. And I think that's one of the most important things. Uh, secondly, it just it brings so many people together. Uh, when we had the opening, you know, I was able to have my friends there, right. my family, and then a lot of mentors that were in corporate. So. And you just look at these beautiful pieces of work. we got to wrap things up, but this is not the end for you. This is just the beginning. We've got a clothing line coming out eventually yeah. down the road, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so when that happens, you and I got to link up on Instagram or something. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I got to see some of these prints on some jackets and some clothes. We will. <laughs> Thanks so much for being yep. here. Thank you again. Absolutely. You. That's great. Uh, Sean, it's just hard to pick one of these pieces. They're all fabulous. Great thank, job. Thank you so much. <laughs>